Welcome to Lesson 1, Reading Pictographs and Bar Graphs. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to read pictographs and bar graphs, as the title suggests. So let's take a look at an example of a bar graph. So here's an empty bar graph. Before we look at the actual information on a bar graph, let's look at a few features of the bar graph. First of all, we have a title. What kind of pet do you own? So we know what this graph is about. Then we have a horizontal axis here at the bottom, and we have five items listed, and they happen to be different pets. So we have rabbits, dogs, cats, goldfish, and hamsters. And on this vertical axis here we have numbers, and there is a label that tells us what the numbers mean. The numbers mean the number of people, and it goes up by one. So now let's take a look at the information that was collected. So now we have a different bar for each type of pet. We can tell that four people have rabbits because this bar goes up to the number four. How many people have dogs? Pause the video for a second and see if you can figure it out. If you said eight, you would be correct. Now take a look at the other animals, cats, goldfish, and hamsters. How many uh, people owned each type of those pets? For cats, we could see that it was 11. For goldfish, if we go across, we see that it was six. And for hamster, five people owned um, hamsters. Now let's look at an example of a pictograph. A pictograph is similar to a bar graph, but there's one big difference, and I'm sure you'll see what it is. A pictograph, instead of having bars, uses pictures or little symbols to show how many there is of something. So let's first look at the title, Number of Ice Creams Sold. So it would make sense that this type of graph would show pictures of little ice cream cones. Now the legend at the bottom shows us that one picture of an ice cream cone actually equals four ice creams in real life. And so it would make sense then that half of an ice cream cone picture would equal two ice cream cones because two is half of four. So let's look at each day of the week, pause the video, and see if you can figure out how many ice creams were sold on each day of the week. Remember, one ice cream cone is four ice creams and half of an ice cream cone equals two ice creams. So if you guessed that on Monday, eight ice creams were sold, you are correct, as four plus four is eight. For Tuesday, we need to count by fours. So here we have four, eight, 12, 16, and this is two more. So two, uh, 16 plus two is equal to 18 ice creams sold on Tuesday. Wednesday, we can do 4 times 3, which is equal to 12. Thursday, we have 4 plus 2 is equal to 6. On Friday, we have 4, 8, 12, 16, plus 2 more. Same as Tuesday, we have 18. Saturday looks like just half of an ice cream more than on Friday, which is two more, so that's 20. And for Sunday, we have one, two, three, four, five, six ice cream cones, and six times four is equal to 24 ice cream sold on Sunday. So to review, we have a bar graph with a title on the top. We have a horizontal axis, with different pieces of information and the vertical axis here on the side usually has numbers. In this example the numbers tell us the number of people. And here we have a pictograph that uses pictures instead of bars and each picture it's important to look at the legend to know how many um, ice creams in this case it represents and so in this case we count by fours and we remember that half an ice cream equals two ice creams. So that is how you read bar graphs and pictographs. Have fun analyzing your own graphs.